completely retarded solution, though. You didn't hire the dude with the tacky suit, Mental. did you? The fresh maker! I'm sorry. I just had to hear the fresh maker. Mentos, the, the fresh, fresh maker. maker. And a historian. Ads. Not ass, but ads. 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 Oh, ads. Ugly kids. If these are called ads, then what are subtracts? Uh. Oh. Why do they call it a fire sale when they keep trying to put it out? Uh. If mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell, what are they selling? And, uh. Where do people go during these brief commercial messages? What do I usually say here? A gun! Bang. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm so I just watched that video today. I, I learned of that today, even though I think it happened like two days ago. But yeah, that sucks. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. All this and more after these brief messages. And the wheels. Speeding. Have you seen this ad? Hey, he's back. Yeah. I never saw the full ad. Oh my god, that's for real? That's how it went? <laughs> Someone added that little sound effect oh, for the... Oh, oh, well, d I didn't know. I didn't remember it being that ridiculous yet. Hold on, I gotta go frame by frame. <laughs> he looks like Matt Pat, right? But that's just an ad. Boy, he imagine getting a group ad. of 20 kids to all pay attention to the same thing all at once. Please all look in this direction. Just keep watching. Uh, you know they went to like a school and like gave the school 500 bucks and they were like, just don't tell the parents. Just say you're on a field trip. This is funny, man. This is so stupid. Bruh. <laughs> it's just their coats. Yeah, they've taken oh, like two wow. different shots and then they've just cropped between them. I wonder if you can even see the line. Dude, this is where all the budget went. Look at the way the, the tree and shit is all deforming. Did I tell you about the time I got pulled over for watching Futurama while driving home? It sounds like you. But my girlfriend doesn't drive at this point, mm. so I'm picking her up or dropping her off, but it's snowing. Mm. It's obscene. Like, we're maybe doing a mile of the road in like an hour and a half. Yeah. I have this phone holder for my phone in my car mm -hmm. that I usually use for the GPS, but you just turn it horizontally and then you can watch YouTube videos. Yeah, of course. So I'm just watching through like an entire season of The Office, two Yay. seasons of The Office on the four hours it's taking me mm. to drop her off and then drive back so i'm driving home it's like midnight or something and i've got futurama on mm. and the lights go off behind me and i was like fuck pull over lock my screen so it's black mm. and then the cop comes up to my side and he's like buddy are you watching futurama really he was like, you can't have your phone out unless it's got your GPS up. Right. And I was like, oh, my bad. What was the experience like? Did you push both hands on the steering wheel? All right, officer, it's not me. <laughs> oh, I get, I get pulled over all the time, dude. My car is illegal as fuck, dude. Really? Yeah, all the, like, my I head love the idea that, like, all these times, you're just, like, softly clutching your gun at your head. Like, it's all going to go off at any moment. Beads of sweat no, like, dripping I, down I, your face. Thank you, officer. I didn't realize about the head. <laughs> No, it's literally not even a scary experience anymore. I've been pulled over so many times. Not ads, but ass. It feels like your whole heart falls into your ass. Yeah, that's how it feels. Sumito, you're late for your meeting uh, at the Twitch offices. I'll be Bounty Paper Towels. I'm Jeff Bezos. Uh, Mr. Bounty, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the Twitch offices. You're being live streamed right now, by the way. So uh, just be careful. Oh, what you say. brilliant. Oh, I take my seat in my comfy PewDiePie gaming course, chair. Course. You seem to have a spill on your table at the moment. <laughs> it's fine. We've got Kleenex for that. Don't worry about that. Clearly you need our product. <laughs> what can you offer us? Hold on. Let me just hop in this hot tub here. Get a little you're a little comfortable. $300,000 and 15 minutes alone with Pokimane. <laughs> and we will accept nothing less. So look, uh, I think you've got a very fine uh, product here. Uh, these bounty bars are just, just tremendous. Are you um, under the impression that we are the bounty chocolate company? Because we are. They are. <laughs> and uh, look, we would love for you to spend your money here at Twitch. If you need an audience that is 98% male with very little purchasing power outside of their parents' credit card, you... Are in the right place, let me tell you. I'm sorry, did you say sticky gaming men? Because that's our core <laughs> demographic but candy here bar. at Bounty Chocolate Paper Towels. Oh, that's yeah. right. In fact, I was a bit sticky. That's why I jumped into the, the hot tub. Ah, yes, of course. I just clean off and then I just let all the chocolate float to the top. Now, uh, why, why, don't you, why don't you jump in here with me? This is, it's, oh, this is a oh, very nice. cold hot tub. So I like to keep it room temperature. It saves money, you see. We're all about cost cutting 
here at Amazon. Ah, yes, as as are mm. we. How many uh, pounty rolls do you think it would take to absorb all <laughs> this water in this hot tub? Well, considering that we're toe-to-toe at this point, it's not a very large hot tub. Mm. I reckon between four rolls of bounty triple ply and 300 rolls of the bounty nose tissues. Wow, that's an absorbency rate that uh, you just don't see much elsewhere. Yes, Um, we are the market leading in absorbency rate, as you'll find in this brochure that is Mm. soaking wet (laughs) at the moment. Let's get down to brass tacks. We propose that you spend uh, about $2 million. $2 million. That's a lot of paper. For that, we could get you five cents per click. Uh, rest assured, this office is as diverse as it gets. We never say the N word, even if it's really funny. Oh, in the wait, moment. wait, wait. Uh, we can see. How the fuck is cyberbullying real? <laughs> Just walk away from the screen like, close your eyes. <laughs> is that a, a terms of service violation? Uh, and you get to banned immediately. Really? Yes, that's right. Except for me. But what if you're just singing along to your favorite hip-hop song? It depends if you're a girl. Ah, yes, of course. Right. Would it be possible to perhaps become incorporated into the culture of yeah, live streaming? We could give you a bounty paper towel emote. It'll uh, mean something racist within a couple of weeks. <laughs> and then we're going to have to ban anyone. Is he speaking facts right now? Emote was temporarily added as chicken dinner tie in promotion with pub. Leads to more racist abuse. In a couple of weeks. <laughs> and then we're going to have to ban anyone who uses it. Would it at least be spammed in the chat every time somebody knocks over a beverage on their desk? I'm scared of Twitch. I'm going to be honest. I wasn't listening. I was thinking about my ex-wife. <laughs> Brilliant. She... <laughs> He took, took so much for me, and I don't think she even uses bounty paper towels, to be honest. Yeah, they're not great. <laughs> ad time. Hey, an ad within There's an one ad. thing you should know about me. I specialize in a very specific type of security. Internet security. No, sir, he got away again. Google Fi. Oh, they're gonna really put an ad within the ad. I'm not watching that ad. I'm watching the other ad. Move on my way. Oh, let it ride. Let it ride. Let it ride. All right, let's rewind a little no, bit. No, sir. He got away again. What the Nord of the Rings. Unlimited region <laughs> unlocked content by tomorrow. Wouldn't that be worth fighting so for? That. Wouldn't that be worth dying for? The Matrix, the Nora, the Ring. You are not ready. You think I don't know that? I didn't ask for any of this. I'm just an ordinary man. And you're the only one who can set them free. I'm ready. Jack me in. That's, that's kind of that's gay. But... I think I found a way home. All I have to do is this one last job. Not much of a threat without your phone. You think that's the only one? I can use up to six different devices on this account. I'm afraid he's gone. Norman. My god. He's using a VPN within a VPN. He's starting. Inception. If we do this, there's no going back. How are you still going? I got a huge deal on a two-year plan. Oh, it's great movie. In two years. Yeah, because it comes with four bonus months. Go to nordvpn.com slash incognito. For a huge deal on a two-year plan, plus four bonus months. A Dover. Mentos, the fresh I maker. Jingles. Like I think they're just as good as regular music. Mentos is easily the best. Oh, I remember this. It doesn't matter what comes, fresh goes better in life. With Mentos fresh and full of life, nothing gets to you. Or, you know, just take off the jacket for the interview. (laughs) Absolutely retarded solution, though. You didn't hire the dude with the tacky suit, did you? The Freshmaker! I'm sorry. (laughs) 
I'm sorry. I just had the hair in the fresh maker. Mentos, the, the fresh, fresh maker. maker. I went down a lane. But y'all remember the double mint, the double mint gum too? They had the twins all the time. Double your delight mint with the right mint. Well, oh, there. Snap back to reality. Come back. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Come back. Good solution, though. You didn't hire the dude with the tacky suit, did you? Bro, his breath. <laughs> it's just so minty, I couldn't do anything about it. All I want to do is watch these ads and make guesses on what the solution is now. Yeah, I mean, this fits in the theme. Hold on, I've never seen this one at all. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, the she's pregnant and she's been caught by a parent. Wait, what? It doesn't matter. I don't remember this one. I remember the other one. Quick, put your dick away. What's the solution to the boyfriend problem? I'm gonna say she cuts up his body and top. Damn it, damn it, damn it, man. Now I'm gonna look at this and like, I don't wanna think logically. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, man, there it goes, it's gone. Wait, what's the solution to the boyfriend problem? I'm gonna say she cuts up his body and ties it to pieces of string and then says that he's a chandelier that's always been in her room. I think he offers the dad a Mentos, and the dad's like, you can't be a bad kid, you've got Mentos. No, what Honestly, happens? I think you might be right. That's what my money's on. Fresh and full, all life. <laughs> I was enjoying the first one. You know, I just had this... Rains of sunshine and rainbows, and now the clouds are over, and it's like, what the fuck, man? How do I not remember this one? This one should be more memorable than the the dude on the, the um, bench over there. <laughs> you know what? That was just a better solution than anything we came up with. That was actually not bad. I'm slightly impressed by that one. Oh, she suspects oh. something. <gasps> oh, you idiot! You kept on your shoes. Oh, mom no. The end of that ad feels like the beginning of a porn. <laughs> Listen, I won't tell dad that your girlfriend's actually your boyfriend. What are you doing, stepmom? Airport. What do you think happens? The Airport. premise is she's got this bomb and she's trying to get it onto the plane post 9-11. <laughs> In this 90s commercial? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me what her problem is. <laughs> All you have to do is not mention 9-11. I don't I remember that one either. Else's bag, and then that person grabs her hand like, hey, that's my bag. No, it's that she can't find a trolley. Well, we tried. We've already figured out the solution before she hit the Mentos. <laughs> it's just some bullshit. Obviously, she's going to put the explosives on that car and then ram that right through the front door. I can't believe you predicted it. <laughs> she looks straight at the camera. Who are these three people? Wave. Goodbye. So we saw what you did just oh. now. Oh. All right, what's the problem with the rock concert? Oh, their fucking tickets are fake. I, Obviously, they don't get scanned in. I reckon so they can't see over the top of a tall person's head. He has a shirt that says sorry. One, please. <gasps> no, never mind. Sold out. I feel like mine was closer, but whatever. Are you with the band? Are you going to sneak in with the band? Their way in by giving Mentos to the security guard. He's going to turn his jacket inside out, and for some reason, <gasps> it'll be exactly the same color as the security. He's with the band. <laughs> is that Winona Ryder? You know I don't know who that is. Stop making fun of me. Uh, no, Winona Ryder. I hardly know her. This is the equivalent of like the middle finger. What was that? Like, every time at the very <laughs> end. <laughs> with the mentors. Fuck That's you. I'll, I'll find been. a way to do it. <laughs> Fuck yourself. you. Well, you got me. Fuck you. <laughs> J-Lo. Have I ever talked to you about Jennifer Lopez's tonight. song, My Love Doesn't Cost a Thing? And there's this one lyric sure. that goes, Right. And I still thought, like, what is the significance of that? Why would she you have- She has her own money. If she- Oh my god, he's about to put off loss. It's, it's never mind. Yeah, never yeah. mind. And there's just, this just one let it roll. lyric that goes, <laughs> Right. And I still thought, like, what is the significance of that? Why would you have to bring, say, your own floss <laughs> and then, what, store it in my bathroom? It's such a strange thing to not offer to share. It all clicked. It was that old saying, you know, back in the day, flossing. <laughs> One day, like 15 years after floss, 
right. was another term for jewelry and shit. Yeah, or just like flexing. Yeah. Uh, you know that song, Riot? Basically, the song goes, let's start a riot. Right. I remember listening to it in my buddy's basement as we're playing, you know, Halo 3 multiplayer. Mm. And I was like, why are they just screaming Mr. Ryan? I don't get oh, this. Oh, I'm not in that. No way. Shut the- oh, <laughs> up. Oh, they bringing me back though to a time. Well, let me listen. Oh, Holy shit, that sounds way <laughs> more like Mr. Ryan than Let Us Start a Riot. Yeah. I love songs like that. Like you don't understand what they're saying, but you just go along with it. You make up your own things. Oh, I love it. Six o'clock TV hours. Try to break down those damn lyrics. All right, Samito. So I understand you want this job at this prestigious marketing agency. What makes you so qualified? Don't you know there are thousands of people outside the door just queuing, waiting to have the job? Of course. You know how in most interviews for a sales position, they will have this ludicrous test where they will ask the applicant to sell them a pen? Mm -hmm, mm Mm-hmm. I've already come. Got hungry there? I have brought you a old typewriter. No longer will you need pens. Think about it. Press on the keys. (laughs) Press on the keys. Okay, no. I I think you'll find it quite satisfying. So I'm going to be honest, it's creasing all the papers on my desk. Yeah. Look, here's a pen. Why don't you sell me this pen? Absolutely. How you doing today? How you been? Terrible. Really? What happened? Uh, someone murdered my wife with a pen. I am so sorry to hear that. You gotta be angry. You're upset, aren't you? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, that's crazy. You know what? Talking's for losers. I understand why you don't want to talk about it. I've been there. You need a pen to write it down? Place that you're in. You know what you gotta do instead of talk? Write it down. You gotta take action. Really? You gotta get out there. You need to take something from him. Hey, you're right. Uh, the cat's no longer hanging in there. That's the only thing you can do. I've got his home address. Wait. I'll write it down for you. And as I slide you his home address, here's a pen for $10. Wait. Hand over the cash. Surely a gun would be a better weapon. Revenge is a dish best served in ink. This pen reminds me of my wife too much. I can't even look it's at it. It's time for action, man. <laughs> Give me $10. <laughs> oh, all right. You've got the job. No! That would be nice. Hang in there. He's no longer hanging in there. Ignore the pen. Find a problem the customer has. You know who can sell a good pen? The pen is blue! The goddamn pen is blue! Sell them that the pen will fix their problem? Nothing will fit in my urethra. That would legitimately pass the test. Oh, we got to look at fucking overseas Indian phone plan ad. No problem. They're speaking their native language and then all of a sudden you hear... Three easy payments, hi. Yeah. Yeah, three easy payments. That's actually a huge thing in Japan. They have a word for it. This one's sort of cute. Mm. My Hindi isn't great, but she's basically like, I've called you three times. And he's like, oh, not a problem. It's only one cent per minute. Oh, you know what he's saying? I don't understand Hindi, but some of the words are the same in Bengali. Oh, how interesting. Okay. What did he say? Uh, what, what is that? My onomatopoeia is, is not as good as my English. <laughs> Bastardizing it, but it's like, what have I told you? Don't drive the car inside. <gasps> Do you not understand? This is actually, I'm finding this very impressive. <laughs> you did that, Dad? Listen, why isn't the house made of cement? Cement oh. is so beautiful. Look at our house. Look, it's falling apart. Ooh. Don't you understand what I'm saying? And he said it just like his dad said to him. Don't you know what I'm saying? Oh, right. Okay. I only ever speak with my moms. So I know how to talk about like food and how to argue. But outside of that, my Bengali's useless. Yo, can I say this before we continue on? I had an obsession with infomercials when I was young. I used to watch my mom watch A. C V Home Shopping H S N Home Shopping Network and she used to order stuff off there all the time. I thought I'm going to be that mom that sits in my bed and orders shit off TV. Now we can order shit online. Ain't that great? Although you get old and you realize how much bullshit infomercials are. You ever watch those channels that were just infomercial after infomercial? Yeah. This would be fun. We could totally just sell Look, H N N H HSN. We could totally just sell stuff on like a live stream. That's true. Just get like the absolute stupidest unsellable products they could find. All right, buy some coyote urine. Ladies and gentlemen.
gentlemen. Spray bottle. Back. Boy, I got a product for all you hunters out there. No <laughs> longer will you only be able to purchase the urine of your favorite e-girl online. No. We now have prime time pure coyote Use urine. Use the code below. How many cans of this do we have? The first 150. Oh, and they're already gone. Oh, <laughs> they're already gone. I'm afraid you'll have to make do with your own urine. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, what do you think of this glass decanter? Oh, you'd absolutely not be able to clean it. And they're like, yeah, you can't just drink it right out of the glass, dumb f You gotta aerator it, and then it tastes like wine. That's some bullshit. They should just pour it out all over the kitchen bench, just like all they do with those terrible meals you see on, like, TikTok. People make it. It's the world you live in. Shut up. Just soak it up with a rag and then you squeegee it back into a cup. There you go, aerated wine. People unironically blend it. Like dump a bottle of wine into a blender and then just fucking blend it with the lid off. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it feels wrong. That's probably a really good way to do it. Sandra, what do you reckon about this brand new cat licking brush? Ah, uh, yes, the cat licking brush. You know how your cat hates you enough already? <laughs> Take your fully grown cat that's never felt the lick of a mother and treat it to some proper fur agitation. <laughs> Do male cats lick each other? Is that like a weird, is it kind of like... Yes. Yeah, they do. Mike and Ike does it all the time. I think just cleaning in general is just yeah. kind of a... Uh, yeah, they're gay, basically. Right. <laughs> okay. As long as they don't make eye contact. Well, no, it's super gay. Because they're just like, listen, I don't even care. This place has to be clean. <laughs> do they take turns? No, okay, let's, no, let's move. I, 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 well, I've never I do not own any cats. <laughs> Adobe. I'm gonna be a customer, you're gonna be go for it. Adobe salesman. I will remind you that I have six years in this professionally, but sure, go for it. Let's do this role play. Hello. I'm on break. Yeah. All right, Smito, you'll be back after these commercial messages. Hey, what's going on, YouTube viewer? Let me guess, you sick of waiting six years for Internet Historian to come out with a video on the main channel? Yeah, excuse me, I, I was in that. It, hold on, it's ain't your part yet. Read the script. I apologize. Sorry, it was in Bengali. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you about In the Field. Let's take it away to Internet Historian for some detailed facts. Uh, it's very rarely in a field. And <laughs> I, hadn't, I hadn't thought this this far ahead. No, no, wait, we can do a better outro. Well, Zamito, thanks for coming to my office. I really don't need any more pens. I'm I'm trying to be polite, but please leave. Okay, listen, let me let me let me pitch you one more oh, idea. I don't know. I'm hold on. I'm looking at my watch. Listen, you got 40 more applicants in the hallway, and I promise you, you can save the rest of your day and not have to interview a single one of them Those because are you're gonna. They want to know where my wife is. You're gonna hire me on the spot after this. Uh, listen. Okay. Yeah. Go on. Your profits last year were under two hundred thousand dollars for your marketing company. What if I told you? I will give you $50 if you hire me right now. 3% increase. Think about it. Don't run well, those numbers. You know what? This is an unpaid internship. That sounds kind of good. Nice. All right. Well, I'll start tomorrow. Wait, what's your position? I don't, also, what's I, my position? Is this at the Twitch offices? This is where, just where I came to hide from the police. Oh, that's what those signs... You killed your wife. Fit the description. I didn't think about it. Can you that. hold this pen for me? Yeah, absolutely. This is a knife. <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? What's this body doing here? Dude. Yeah, officer. You went that way. Holy He's shit. He's in there. Go out with your hands up. I'm holding a pen. It's quite We're heavy. We're start firing in three. Who gives a countdown for police brutality? Two. We always start firing on two. Who gives a countdown for <laughs> he made me feel so young again. God damn. HSN, Home Shopping Network. That was the shit. Like, it's a real show. It was fun to watch my mom watch and we order shit together. Or getting the CDs in the mail. I got that too. Or getting Disney tapes in the mail. Oh my God. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Ads. But there we go, Blaze Squad. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you blaze up the like button. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, go ahead and comment. Ads. And I will see you guys in the next video.